Hey, hello everyone. Today we are going to create a project which will show the effects of roughness, density, and etc. of an object and its effect on the gravity and how the object falls. For example, we are going to demonstrate something similar to this. To create that, first of all, we need to add the, exten uh, the extension physics engine. After that, we need to add the sprites of a bell. And after that, we also need to add the uh, sprite, sprite of a ball. Now, first of all, we'll get the block when green flag click. For this to work, we need to set the x position of the x and y position of the bell to 0, 50. 0 and 50. So, we, we will command the bell to go to x and y coordinates of 0, 50. Now we need to set the size of the bell sprite to about 200%. Now we want the bell pointing in the direction 90. Okay, we will set the uh, point in direction to 75, which is close enough. And then we will use the block set stage as we will change this to boxed without boxed without floor. Open without floor. Now what this does is define the type of stage we have. The type of stage we have is open without floor which means that it is open from all sides and it doesn't have a floor or any ceiling here to keep any falling object here. Now we need to enable for this uh, costume mode norm. This block enables the application of laws of physics and gravity on this particular block. We can set it to normal or precise mode but for this project we only need to set it to normal mode. Now we need to set sprite as We need, to, we need to use the set sprite as block. There are three options which is fixed in the state it is like this or free it can be moved anywhere or fixed but can rotate which means it can rotate in any direction.
now we need to get the block which is get set gravity we need to set the gravity between 0 and minus 10 and we need to set sprite density as light and the roughness to be rough and bounce to be normal now we need to add a forever block now we need to add the step simulation block in the forever block now we'll move on to the ball in the ball first of all we need it to hide so we will use the block hide now we need the ball to change it, its color to costume A, B, C, D, E continuously. So we will add a switch costume block. Switch costume to ball A. Now we will get a forever block. We will add a next costume next costume block as the first default costume is set to costume A which is a yellow ball as uh, time goes on the costume will be changed to the next costume which is ball B then the ball C ball D and ball E ball E so we want the ball to create clones of itself so we'll type we'll get the block create clone of myself and another block which is wait one second instead of one second we'll make this 0 0.5 now we also need the block when I start as a clone so when the clone appears or when uh, a, an, this ball makes the clone of itself we need that clone to go somewhere here to here and fall down and also to appear because it was hidden we want the ball to appear between this and this location we want it to show itself and we also want it to be impacted by gravity so we will add go to x and y coordinate first of all we will get a pick random block from here and we want the random block to be between, between 100 and 100 and we will set the y coordinate to be 300 now we want the ball to show itself so we will use the block show after that we need to enable uh, gravity for that clone so we will use the block na enable for this costume mode norm this block enables grab enables, uh, enables the application of gravity and loss of phases on the clone of the ball now we need to set the, dens the density roughness and bounce of this sprite which we will set to very heavy
normal and little after after that we'll also add wait until and delete this clone operations greater than lesser than minus 250 and y position what this does is it will wait until the y position which is if the y position ever goes below minus 250 then the clone will be deleted so it will disappear after it passes um, from uh, this corner or minus 250 so now the project is mostly complete so to test the project we will start the project <coughs> 